I realize the outfit totally ruins name that tune, but it's not like we don't all know that tune by heart. Let's talk about statistical significance versus practical significance. Statistical significance is when something is scientifically proven, it's shown and tested. What that means is that your p-value was less than alpha. You get a small p-value, it's statistically significant. It means that you can say, we know this is true. That's not the same as practical significance, where we ask the question, does it really matter? Sure, we've proven there's a difference, but is the difference enough that I'm going to change my life? For example, let's say a new study came out that said, if you exercise one hour every day, which I do, you'll live 10 minutes longer. Well, is that worth it? It may not be practically significant. What if the study said you will live one year longer? Okay, that's a little better. What if the study said you will live 15 years longer? Okay, now that might be practically significant. And I realize this is a little bit of your opinion. Some of you are saying, one year longer? Yeah, I'd exercise every day. Some of you are saying, only a year? I'd rather have that hour per day back. And that's why on the exams, I try to make them so obvious that I think everyone will agree. If you pay $10, then you can save an entire orphanage from being destroyed. Well, gee, everyone's going to say it's worth it. Or we can spend a billion dollars and one person can get through the line of the DMV faster. It, no, that's not going to be worth it. So for these kinds of questions on the exams, I try to make them very obvious. For the flip side, this is absolutely not opinion. Is the p-value smaller than alpha? Did it say it was proven, shown, tested, scientifically analyzed? This you don't get to weigh your opinion on. But there's lots of famous examples. One school was working on developing a new type of powder which people who work out would like to use and they were hoping that it would make you stronger. If you've ever been to the gym, you've seen all the stuff they try to sell you. You got muscle milk and protein and something else and whatever. But they found out that people who took this consistently over the course of an entire month one glass of this stuff per day, they were bench pressing an extra pound. Well, because they had a huge sample size, they could actually prove that extra pound was statistically significant. In other words, it is provable that you can bench press an extra pound. One extra pound for drinking a nasty milkshake every day? Yeah, not practically significant and it didn't go to market and it ended up flopping. But you'll see advertisements and commercials and you as a graduate who's done statistics should be able to see through it. What if they said four out of five dentists recommend chewing gum to help your breath or whatever? Well, okay, I want to help my breath smell better. That's great. That's practically significant to me. But only four out of five dentists, if your sample size is five, that's not going to be statistically significant. Please tell me that it was 400 out of 500. That's a better sample size. Another common one is you'll hear commercials like Lipitor lowers cholesterol. Well, I just spent some time trying to look up how much does it lower cholesterol. They're saying it's proven to lower cholesterol. That means it's statistically significant. Can I find anywhere that says how much it lowers cholesterol? It lowers cholesterol by 0.01. You can prove that, but that's not enough for it to matter. If you can lower cholesterol by five points, okay, now I'm interested, let's talk. It has been scientifically proven that dosing yourself with radiation increases your chance of cancer. On the other hand, there is this tiny small probability of superhero powers. Is it worth it?